Is this even in focus? Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh my god, I look so fucking ugly. That's, that's how all teenage YouTube female women make their YouTube intros. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to a brand new beautiful video. Are you mad? Are you mad, bruv? So today, so today, so today, so today, so today. So today, um, I'ma be rating my Tinder dates from one to ten. Today, I'ma be rating my followers' outfits. Earlier this week on Instagram, on my story, I was like, "Yo, send me your best motherfucking outfit," and I'ma, I'ma rate that. I'ma rate that shit. And I got a bunch of submissions. Appreciate everybody who submitted. I'm sorry if I did not choose you. It just means you're whack. It just means uh, the ones I picked just stood out to me, you know? I, I chose these because I just really felt like I could either nitpick something or criticize something and that like applies to everybody, you know? Like these critiques don't just apply to the person submitting the photos. They could like apply to you. If he's looking musty, maybe you look musty too. You like think about it. Every correction that I make in this video or every pl applaud could also apply to you. But uh, without further ado, I don't even know what further ado means. Like I do what? What the hell, man? Let's just cut to the chase. I'm in love with Zoe. All right, first photo we got is from Acid Con underscore, um, and man, can we just appreciate how fresh this man's looks? Look at this. Look at this. Look at the sweeter man's. First thing I'm just gonna say, uh, I like the confidence. I like. I like that. I'm gonna kiss you. Um, but yeah, I I love this man's confidence. Look, he's he's a little playful pose. You know what I mean? He's like. He's like, dope outfit. I think uh, the structure itself is there. I think all the fundamentals are there. I like the colors. He knows his color theory. This man knows his color theory, you know? On the opposite ends, orange and blue match. He's got a lightly saturated, like orange tan jacket. And he's also got the light wash. So I really like how those colors look together. Um, I also really, really like how you have like no branding on the jacket, the shirt, or the jeans. But you do have the branding on the shoes. Now, this is what I really like about outfits is when they don't just rock so many fucking expensive brands or just brand clashing. Like my outfit right now, brandless. Costco, fucking brandless. Like these are, there's no branding anywhere except for the hat. Like my main focal point is the Lakers hat. Shout out Kobe, mama forever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I like how it's structured. I like how the shoe pops like that little red of the heart for the cdg low top converse dope shoe i feel like that's just such a classic go-to yeah and i also really like the inclusion of the change like it it makes him look like like he's got money like he's ready to cop some bitches you know what i'm saying like now my critiques for him and what he could have done better i'm not a fan of the long jackets um i don't know what you're trying to hide maybe you're trying to flash some bitches you don't need to hide it under all that coat you know what i'm saying also another thing stay away from the from the skinny jeans my guy personally for me i like the slim where it's just slim throughout and not the taper anymore i feel like the skinny jean is so like 2016 you know what i'm saying also last thing for you um the ripped jeans my guy if you're wearing a coat that just means it's cold where you are you're wearing ripped jeans your knees are gonna be freezing your knees are gonna be ashier than fucking ash ketchup your knees are gonna be ashy enough for me to light a match <coughs> covid covid all in all i would just replace the jeans with a more slim non-ripped jean a little bit more of a shorter jacket overall Outfit's nice. I like the pose. I like the confidence. Acid Con, you get an 8 out of 10 for me. For our next photo comes from a Nikudato Wong. First of all, I think you're looking fire today. <laughs> representing all Asians out there. Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, Thai, fucking Korean. Representing all the Asian. Nikudu Wong. Um, I'm sorry if I'm being racist. I do not mean to be racist at all. But um, let's get to the outfit. Nicholas Wong Fu Productions. I like it. I like it. I feel like this is an outfit I would wear personally. I like the cargos. I like how they're not doing too much. I like how the string's not super long. I like the stacks on the shoes. The stacks on the kicks is fire. And then we got the lows, the Jordan lows. I'm not really a fan of lows, but I think it really works with the outfit. And then we got the nice New York hoodie. I don't know if you're from New York, but New York! Oh! I 
I really like how it all looks. I think you got the fitment right. I like the background, the cherry blossom. Cherry blossom representing all the Asians. Personally, for me, I'm just not a Jordan Low guy, but I think he pulled it off pretty well. Like, I think they stack really nice. My only thing is with this whole outfit, you could replace the hoodie. I would go for like a more plain hoodie just because like I feel like the it's like a Jordan. You want the, the bitches to look at the kicks, you know? Just think about it. The more a bitch is looking down at your shoes, the more likely she's going to look at your dick. Have the focus on the kicks so she'll have the focus on your dick, you know what I'm saying? Maybe have a hat on or like a beanie. Some accessories there, I feel like it, it'll be a little too bland with just the hoodie. Also, last thing, my guy. Nicholas Wong Fu Productions, you are representing all Asian community right here in this one photo, and you don't have enough confidence to look up, my guy? You know what you wanna do? You wanna have good posture, you wanna have shoulders up, back, down, chin forward, chin down, relax, and you have some nice posture. Show off that nice jawline, show off that nice lip crease, you know what I'm saying? Have that confidence because you're representing all of Asia over here, you know what I'm saying? So have that confidence. If you wanna get bitches, let them come to you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, Nicholas Wong for Productions, I give you a nice seven out of 10. You did good. You did great, representing all the Asians, you know what I'm saying? All right, next we got here. This one is one of my favorite outfits of the day, actually. We've got our first female of the year. Our first female. Quarantine, quarantine guidelines, creative. So over here, we got yes underscore ma'am underscore or in her bio, her name is Shania or Shania. I like Shania, you know what I'm saying? Shania, Laquifa, Lawasha, Ladraya, you know what I'm saying? Sis, sis, let me let me tell you. I like that. I like that a lot. That shit nice. That shit nice. You you did this outfit perfectly. I would not have changed anything about this. I love it. So let's go from top to bottom. I love the flowy white top. I love I love that shit. I love how you chose to open it up, you know, show some skin, you know. I don't know if you have a necklace, it looks like you do, but I like that necklace. Showing skin, but not too much, you know, you're not you're not a hoe, you know what I'm saying? But you just like you're like like teasing like I'm a little bit of a hoe, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a like I'm a hoe with no E, you know what I'm saying? You're a HO. I love, I love, love how you did the half tuck. If you tucked it all the way in, I feel like it would have looked a little bit, like it would have just looked too formal, a little too businessy. I really like how you did the half tuck. It gives it a more business casual, casual laid back vibe. I love it, it gives it that flowy look. Next, a lot of people miss these details, but I really like how the belt is over the waist. I think you know your body shape perfectly. A little shorter, a little bit more petite. And I feel like over the waist is definitely better. So it really conforms your figure and emphasizes the curvature of your body. Um, I love the pants. Love how it just flares out at the end. It's not super flared out, but it's not super slim. But it's like a nice crop, nice shape of a dress pant. And then I love the kicks, the Jordan 1s. Um, I don't know exactly what colorway those are, but I like how it's a nice bright shoe is a very loud shoe for a very subtle outfit and I love that like you guys know early in the video I said I don't like a lot of batting I don't like when people do a little too much feel like I do too much the shoes are loud and subtle at the same time and I don't know how you capture that but girl that shit is fire lastly I love the purse I love how you um I love how it like kind of matches the shoes because it's like the same color, but it's not the same color because they're like different shades. So I really just like that pop of red, the whole black and white outfit. Like, what's black and white with red all over? Shania's outfit, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is just a dope fit. I feel like the fitment, styling, the execution, the confidence, everything is perfect. Shania, you get a 10 out of 10 from me, girl. Shit. Next up, we got underscore Talv underscore Talvin on his Instagram is what he says. Um, my guy, um, I like the attempt. I like the creativity. You're in the Asian supermarket, man. You got a Hello Panda in your hand. You're like, you don't know what Hello Panda to choose. Do you want the chocolate or the strawberry? Personally, this is just not for me. I think you start. I think you tried to go for like a more like a tech wary vibes. And I, I'm just not rocking with it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, from top to bottom, um, for the hoodie, if you were going for a tech wear look, I would have went for like a black hoodie instead. Please stop wearing the hoodie halfway on. 
it's, it's either off or it's on. You know, wax on, wax on, jack on, jack off. You know what I'm saying? So if you're gonna have the hoodie on, put it on the way on. If you're gonna have the hoodie off, pick it on the way off, okay? Let's leave the fanny pack trend back in 2016 to 18. I just feel like it's too big. Like, you, like you're holding a baby. Like you're, like you're holding a baby. Like, you wanna be paying for that child support now? Nah, bro, so yeet that shit out. I think the elongated T is uh, a no-go. Um, now here's where we run into some problems, my guy. The pants are not doing it for me, bro. Um, the Like these cargo joggers with all the straps, I'm personally not a fan of that, but not even just that, like, bro, you have them hiked all the way up. Like, I thought you were wearing black socks, but that's your ankles. You got, you got, you got cute ankles, though. I just feel like you gotta pull that shit down, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, my, my last, my last critique for you, um, bro, clean your motherfucking shoes, man. How are you gonna pull up to the function with dirty ass shoes? My guy, I think those are white shoes with the 3M. But you, they look like off white and brown and just just no 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 sir. Overall, I like the confidence. I like the creativity. I like how you you were getting there. I just feel like you just need to pick the right pieces and style them properly. It's one to wear a bunch of clothes, but it's another thing to know how to properly wear them and properly style them and match them, you know? Work on your outfit fundamentals, get the essentials, you know? Overall though, I give this outfit a good four out of 10. Sorry, man, but hey, you tried, now you can try again for the next video, next time you know, all right? All right, next outfit we got here, it's another banger, another b -b 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 Bang her, like banging her, because this guy can bang her with that confidence. We got George Navarro, or maybe it's Jorge Navarro. I don't know, you look Latino, Hispanic. You look in fire. Look at that spicy confidence, spicier than tahin on Seracha and oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love it, I love it. I like the vintage tee, Chicago Bulls championship shirt, 19, whatever. I like the cargo pants, I like how they stack on the shoes, and I just like the fitment of them. Like, I feel like you know your body. You're not super skinny, but you're not big. You got that, like, a little bit more of an athletic, bigger build. I can tell you work out. You got those fucking chunly thigh, thunder thighs, you know what I'm saying? Feel like you can put someone in a headlock and fucking crack their neck open with that shit. I like that power, that manliness, that testosterone. And my guy, I love the Jordan ones, the rookie of the years. My guy has taste. <laughs> I feel like those were a really slept on shoe this year, last year. And I really like how the rookie of the years matched his fucking beanie. My guy. Oh my God. Just everything about this fit. Structure is great. I like the colors. I like how they all match and work together. I like the pose. I like the confidence. What I love most about your fit, my guy, is you're flexing your fucking shoe collection, bro. You really do be flexing your shoes, though. You've got the Travis Scott forces, the sales, Travis Scott sixes, and then I think those are Element Reacts. I can't really see you're covering them a little bit. Even's got the fucking Travis Scott Reese's puffs in the top, my guy. I love that shit. Love that confidence. Love the aesthetic. Love the picture. Everything about this. I give it like a, I think I'd give it a, a solid either 9.5 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Good job to you, Jorge. All right, all right, next outfit on here we got from the man, Justin Dot Yeet. Justin Dot Yeater, 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 Mater, whatever from Cars, Mater from Cars. Yeah. Um, I, I, I like it, bro. I like it. Nice, simple, something that I would wear. So from top to bottom, he's got the essential sphere of God hoodie. He's got like these black bottoms, these jeans, the apple bottom jean jeans, the boots with the fur. And he's got the Jordan. I don't, I can't really see what those are. I can't exactly tell what shoe those are, but those are Jordan ones. Listen, bruv, you look young, maybe 15, 16. Like I said, don't wear too much hype my guy um i feel like it's a little tacky and it's a little too safe yeah you wore the essentials fear of god and you wore the jordans i feel like that's two hype things like okay real shit right now guys 
don't dress nice to impress girls guys dress nice to impress other guys and so I know you're not getting any bitches with that outfit and that's fine but you do be getting those new homies you know what I mean I would wear this outfit I'm not like hating on you I would this is something I would wear it's something I wear on a daily but I just feel like I would switch out the essentials hoodie with just like a, a regular hoodie just a nice regular gray and then you could layer it on top to make it look more flashier a flannel a denim jacket a, like a different colored hoodie even like a fucking blue royal blue hoodie you know but my god I just feel like it's a little too safe take those risks take those leaps and bounds you know what I'm saying you look like every fucking Asian I see on the street us Asians we already get enough shit for looking like each other all the time all Asians look alike you got the you got the the, the small eyes you eat the bats and the the, the rice and the. bro if you want to stand out next time I just want you to take some more risk overall six out of ten I guess overall next up she's one of my homies the hype bay the thrift bay the baby now was like baby hannah chan or hannah cherb on instagram just meet hannah this is hannah this is hannah she is one of my fashion icons y'all by no bias at all she pulled this off amazingly um applaud applaud representing all females out there yo our females have been crushing it this whole time crushing it First of all, composition of the whole outfit. This isn't like a regular street wear outfit. It's more of like a, has that nice vintage, business casual, just really nice outfit. It's just really nice. I love it. I love it so much. I like how she has like a nice thin scoop neck tank top type of thing, but I like how it's like slim. I like how it's slim on the body because the blazer is oversized. Like you can tell it's big and it's meant to be big on her. And I like that contrast, the contrast of the smallness and the oversized it's just muy bueno i love it te quiero i like the pants i like how it's also very subtle gray and i like how you didn't just pick a fucking like a like a black like i feel like anyone could have been safe with a black but you picked the gray and i think the gray just matches the the whole vibe of the blazer and i love the brown belt it really brings out the color of your hair it really brings out the color of your eyes and i just i just really like that whole composition of the entire outfit itself get into the shoes she's got the blazer vintage mid 77s i love blazers i personally own a pair of blazers so the blazer is a mid it's not really a high but i like how you didn't choose to roll your or cut off your pants at the end but I really like how you just put it over on top of the blazer and my guy best part about this outfit she's wearing blazers with a blazer prop my guy my guy my gal my girl this outfit is fire she's even flexing the Nike blazer box in the back like it's immaculate it's creative meticulous aesthetic vintage throwback Hashtag thrift like what what can you what can you hate about this outfit? It is amazing. I no bias at all I give this outfit a 10 out of 10 Hannah, please go follow her on TikTok right now. Bang. All right So for our last outfit of the day, we've got the natural curly haired prince the prince of all Pinoy boys the sunshine in the rain the Tylenol when you're in pain the sweeter man's of the six Oh, oh, again, no friendly bias, but this man is packing the heat. He's packing more heat than Tahin and Siracha, you know what I'm saying? So from top to bottom, he's got this long sleeve AW kiss. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe it means naughty America. Nobody, nobody, nobody does it better. Maybe it's that. I, I don't know, bro. I, he's He told me it was a brand collaboration, so man, I like it. I like the long sleeve. I feel like not a lot of people can rock long sleeves like me. It's very hard for me to rock a nice long sleeve because I am lanky. I'm really tall. I like the amount of chains you have. It's not too much, but it's not too little. I feel like it's a great amount. You have a nice variety of sizes of your chains. One of my favorite things, I like how you did not just play it safe with like a black jean or like light wash denim or some shit. You went with like a brown trouser chino right here. I love it. I like how it's chocolate brown. And then we get the kicks here. Got the Vans old school highs. They looked custom. He's got the barbed wire, the loser slash lover because he put the V on the S. Like, bro, the V on the S, the Victoria's secret. Who's Victoria and what is her secret? Because what is your secret to looking so fly, my guy? I think he played the colors and the 
composition of everything really well. He's got the black long sleeves, the black kicks. He's got the white laces, kind of matches the silver chains. He's got the loser slash lover, and the V is in fucking red. Matches the fucking lipstick on his fucking shirt. The red on the V matches the lips. Lips, B, red, red, lips, V. My man is trying to get that poon! My man is trying to get the cooch! I know you was thinking that. It's a very subtle thing that makes a big impact on his outfit. Finally, I like how the brown pants match and complement the gum sole. Brown on brown. Sweeter man's of the six. Um, I really like the outfit. Give that shit like a 9.5 out of 10. Good job, bro. Good job, bro. You know what? Actually, because I like the lips and the V detail, I'm gonna give that shit a 10 out of 10. You know what? 11 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hit him up single follow the mans on tiktok sweeter mans of the six leitner himself and that my friends concludes our first ever rating my followers outfits thank you guys for watching this beautiful video bravs i really appreciate it i'm gonna put out more youtube content within the next coming weeks as we are on this quarantine you know i just need to get off my ass i need to stop watching quarantine radio i just feel like this is just gonna give me something to do for the next couple weeks who knows how long this is gonna last? I don't know, I thought it was gonna last a week, but two months later, here we are. Thank you to everybody who contributed and sent me their outfits. I did not mean to hurt anyone's feelings. If I did, well, sorry, I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, share it to everybody, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, follow me on TikTok, let's get that 400K followers, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram, let's get me to 10K followers, you know? Stay Gucci, and um, like I said, if she's looking at your kicks, She's looking at your dick. All right, peace out, y'all.